Okay, Google. Turn on office lamp. Okay, Google. Turn off office lamp. Okay, Google. Turn on popcorn machine. Okay, Google. Turn off popcorn machine. Turn on office lamp. I realize you don't always want to use voice, so no problem. You can go ahead and toggle the popcorn machine on and off. If I wanted to go ahead and turn on the lights, go ahead and do that without having to use voice. So you don't always have to use voice. Sometimes it's a lot more convenient when you want to keep silent to do that. So I'm going to show you guys, this is something cool and I've done in the past. I'm going to go ahead and manipulate or use my smartwatch to turn on and off and set the temperature of my home. So just go ahead and pay attention right here. You can see that it is off. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Set house to cool at 76 degrees. So I can say, just pay attention right there. Now I'll do a Google notification. You can see it's, it's at cool. Temperature is at 76 degrees. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. Again, just pay attention right there. Okay, Google. Turn off thermostat. There it is. Turned it off. So I can go ahead and turn on the heat and all that. So really, really nice being able to do that with your smartwatch, voice commands, without having to use your phone. Okay, Google, turn on computer. Okay, Google, turn off television. This has to be one of my favorite features, especially when you have a TV. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Okay, Google, turn on TV. Now my television does take a little bit longer than normal to, uh, to turn on. But yeah, this is probably one of my favorite features to be able to control all of the uh, television, appliances, stuff like that. Now I can start my Plex movie as soon as it turns on. There it goes. So as you know, I have different sensors and devices throughout my house. For example, I can unlock and lock my front door, side door. You guys have seen that in previous videos. I can control all the lighting as you saw uh, today. So if I want to hang out in the kitchen or whatever throughout the house. But my favorite one of them all is these trip door sensors. Uh, you can also put them in windows, but they're very convenient. I'm going to show you a quick demo right here. So you can see I have no notifications on my watch right now. But look when I open this door, and it's going to happen instantaneous. There it is. Sliding door switch is tripped. So yeah, that is uh, very, very cool. Let me show you guys again that sensor. So I have these throughout the house. So if there's, for example, anybody breaks in through a window, I know exactly what window door it is and I'm able to act and see, you know, what I want to do, whether call the cops or if I want to, you know, automate the gun to shoot. I'm just kidding. That would be cool, right? <laughs> but yeah, you get the idea. So um, anyhow, I wanted to show you guys just the notification part on the Androids or the smartwatch, how convenient it is to be able to see that and know that something's happening in your home. What's up guys? That was just a small sneak preview of what Android is really capable of doing with home automation. Now I know you've seen me do videos in the past with my Pebble watch, but it really doesn't compare on how Android Wear handles things compared to Pebble watch. 
Android Wear, in my opinion, is truly an extension of your Android smartphone. And what I mean by that is there was really no setup required. Everything just worked out of the box. Take, for example, Plex. Plex is a very popular application that a lot of people use, including myself. It allows me to watch movies through my Plex server. Now on my Pebble watch, there was a bunch of different configurations and a setup process with Android Wear. I really had to do nothing. The fact that I just had the application installed on my phone, everything just worked out of the box, including everything you just saw right now in my home automation. These are things that I already had pre-programmed on my phone and I had to do nothing. All I had to do was buy the watch and everything just worked. The reason being is that this uses Google Now and with Google Now, everything just gets pushed to the phone like if you were using the phone directly, unlocked. And that's something really powerful that I think that Android Wear has the upper edge amongst all the other different smartwatches out there. I can tell you since using Android Wear, I've actually used my smartphone a lot less. And I actually like that because I think sometimes, at least I'm just speaking for myself, but I also see a lot of people doing it. We're so consumed by our phones. Everywhere you go, you go to a restaurant, you go in public areas, and everybody's just sucked into their phone. And it's kind of nice to be able to appreciate the outer world without having to be so consumed. If I get a text message, I can easily just look at the message and easily reply without having to do much work or pulling out my phone and you know, once I reply, most people jump onto Facebook or other applications. So I really like Android Wear, as you can see, there's a lot of things that I think are cap you are capable of doing, especially with Tasker. If you're not using Tasker, I really recommend you should because with Tasker, it just unlocks the true potential of a smartphone. With Tasker, you can do just about anything that you can think of. So that was just a short overview of some of the neat features that you can do with Android Wear and of course home automation. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and please feel free to reshare. I also want to thank all of the Patreons that have pledged to my Patreon page. If it wasn't for them, you guys would not be watching this video. Anyhow guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, adios.